Why if TWP Manufacturing bought a sliding head machine? Well, the company itself has been going 25 years. The CNC part of their machine shop has been going about 16 months. But this is the first sliding head machine. First of all, Phil, TWP Manufacturing, how long have you been going? Um, the company's been going for 25 years. Um, we uh, started with one machine in the corner and uh, over the years we've just grown and uh, slowly invested into different processes, different machines, um, from presses to injection moulding, all the way through to CNC machines. Okay, and there's now actually four parts of the group very, very quickly? Yeah, four parts is uh, the press work side, the injection moulding side, the Patterson's photographic side, and then the gardening side, and then also the barra side as well. Okay, but your CNC part of the machine shop, how long has that been up and running? Well, we started the CNC shop about 16 months ago. Um, we were um, offshoring and um, outsourcing a lot of our term parts um, to other various suppliers, and uh, it became apparent with um, the way we were continually to invest that we needed to do it in-house. So well, you've got some mills, some fixed headlays, but what we're going to look concentrate on today is your Citizen Syncom, it's the M32. Yeah. Why have you bought that? Well, as I said, we started off with a, a, a milling machine first and we went to a standard conventional bar feeder, 12 turret head uh, lathe. But um, with the amount of work we were bringing back to the UK and also doing in-house instead of subcontracting it, we decided that we needed something a lot faster, a lot more superior, but also we were having to de a lot of parts as well. So with the Citizens machine, um, we found out that um, it can do all the milling on the y-axis, it's got all the turret facilities, it's also got the sub-spindle facilities, therefore we can have parts coming off from three and a half minutes down to one minute. And um, they're coming off finished, no one picks it up, no one touches it. The next operation, it goes straight to um, plating. Brilliant. Well, you've got the parts there in front of you. Can you just show, just show me how it's coming off now and how it used to come sure. off as well? Sure. Yeah, I mean, right. conventionally we were doing the parts as a turn billet, and then uh, from there we were then putting it onto the XYZ machine and then we were having to then machine the flats on the side as a second op. Um, but now with the Citizen machines, we're doing it in a minute and it's coming off finished with no parting, no de-pipping and the surface finish and the speed is just incredible. Okay, and again, you know, even the machining, the machining time has come down but no operator intervention in terms of two ops and things like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, there's no operator intervention there, you know. We're not at Lights Out Manufacturing yet, but we are looking to do that. Um, and um, consequently the parts come off, they get checked through the batch number and then they go straight into the box and straight to the platers. Right. And at the moment you're just making the one part, but you're looking to do five parts on this machine, set it all up? Yeah, we've, we've, we've literally got the machine running in the last couple of weeks um, and um, consequently we've got all the tooling now to do the five other parts that we're going to do on the one inch hex and um, they consequently by the end of July will all be coming off. So there's another five parts there which in total comes to about 200,000 parts a year coming off one machine. This one machine with the calculations we've had from citizens will do all of the parts without any trouble whatsoever. Now, obviously the eagle eyed amongst them will notice this is a second hand machine. Yep. I think it's 2000, but this is about, ah uh, yeah, you're reassuring, you're making a great product, but the support citizen have given you, what have they done? I mean, it was, it was quite ironic really. I met Ed James at a function in Birmingham and um, his eyes pricked up when he heard we did CNC turning. So of course, Ed being the way Ed is, so Phil, I want to come and see you. He came along and saw us, along with Warren, and uh, between the two of them, they sort of told us where we think we could be and how much better we could be. So from the very first stages all the way through to the end stages, citizens have been with us, and they gave us our timing on the parts. Uh, we then went to purchase a machine independently, um, which um, we got, and um, the question was to Warren was, well, can you support me in this machine? Phil, we can do everything. So even on a 20-year-old machine, yeah, we had the tooling support, the setup support, the maintenance support, all the way through the CAD training and the training on the machine. And um, without a shadow of a doubt, we wouldn't have been able to do that. And especially when some of the lads have never used a machine like this before. So it's a massive step up the ladder for us. And um, it's, it's, it's definitely the right direction we could go in. And your background, I mean, you've got, this is fantastic operation, it really is. You've got four units here, two down the road, uh -huh. a load of different processes, but CNC and specifically slide ahead, that's not your skill set, is that correct? Um, I'm a toolmaker by trade, so of course we know everything. And, um, you know, what we can't do doesn't matter, does it? Because we can find somebody who can. And I think um, even though we bought a 20 year old machine, the support we've had all the way through those processes has been brilliant. And, um, you know, I understand machining, I understand turning. I understand engineering, 
Yeah, what I didn't do is understand this machine, but also when I saw the machine and the demonstration we had, it was, it was almost like a light bulb moment because it just went bang, Phil, get a sliding head. Even to the point now where we're looking for another sliding head and uh, we'll look to continue to invest because that's definitely the way to go. There you go. Perfect, a great testimony, both to yourselves and to the support citizen have given you. Thank you very much. Brilliant, thank you.